Just days ahead of Penghu County's second referendum on whether to allow casino development, the DPP has begun to experience internal conflict, with party lawmakers and anti-gambling groups slamming the wording of the referendum enabled by the DPP County Commissioner. They're saying that the ballot question about a special tourism zone will mislead voters about the true consequence of the vote. Anti-gambling groups and DPP lawmakers were up in arms ahead of Penghu's second referendum on casino development that was enabled by the DPP County Commissioner. They argue that the wording of the ballot question was tantamount to a scam. We were really a bit surprised to see the referendum ballots. The words, do you agree to a special tourism zone, aren't what this referendum is about. The meaning is fundamentally different from a referendum on casinos. Seeing Penghu County Commissioner Chen Guangfu come out and say he's dealing with things neutrally and impartially, I think that he's a really irresponsible commissioner. He's committed such a big blunder, and now he's expecting the DPP to deal with the aftermath. Yesterday, in her capacity as the chairwoman of the DPP, President Tsai Ing-wen stated her party's opposition to the measure, saying that the development of casinos wasn't the only way to pursue local development. One representative of an anti-gambling group from Penghu echoed Tsai's position. My hope is that all our sons and daughters who grew up here can stand up and return home to vote. I'd ask them to check the box for do not agree. Only that vote can help protect our Penghu values of simplicity and honesty. Penghu's first referendum on casino development in 2009 failed with 56 percent of county residents opposed to the measure. But even if the second referendum passes, there are still many hurdles to development, with a regulatory framework governing casinos on Taiwan's outlying islands yet to pass the legislature.